We are gonna look back and watch this video many years from now and, and disgust. <laughs> it's not because we hate sport cards and we wanna destroy them. All right, I'm going in. Don't put open your cards. Oh. Look at that. Check out this cool graffiti wall behind me. Welcome back to What's Inside. Today we are going to see what's inside of a sports card, but not just any sports card. They call it a rookie patch auto, an RPA, an autograph card, auto for autograph, but they take a patch of the jersey and put it inside of the card. So like a game worn jersey, they put it inside of a card. Yes, there are sports cards that are like this. And some of them are the most coveted, most valuable, most rare. But what I wanna see today is how does it work? We are with our friend Jeff, the sports card investor. This is him, this is Jeff. Hey Dan, welcome. <laughs> we just filmed an awesome video on your channel looking at your sports card collection. Let's not destroy any of those valuable ones, all right? You got it. Here's a little side note. I had the perfect card that I was gonna bring to take apart for this segment and I left it at home all the way in Utah. Now we're in Atlanta. So you've got some cards. Show me the cards yeah. that you have that we could potentially just sure, donate. Sure, I, I brought a few out. So if you want to go basketball, this is a Malik Monk rookie patch auto, as we were talking about there. That's pretty cool. Spectra brand. Not this the one's most, interesting. Yeah. Kevin Herter's uh, rookie auto card because it's got not only uh, some of his jersey, but it's got like a little bit of a basketball in there as well. So oh, it's got like different, four different little patches of things. Uh, this is an old baseball throwback card. It's uh, actually got a little bit of uh, John Smoltz in there, an Atlanta legend. And so this is pieces of, I think that's a piece of a bat there, along with a Whoa. couple of jersey pieces. So we could try that one. Okay. This is your kind of your standard uh, rookie patch auto. This is from National Treasures. Very, very uh, sought after cards. This is Corey Davis of the Tennessee Titans. And then this is an interesting one, Miles Sanders, because this actually got a little bit of his helmet in there, I believe. What? I think that's what that is. I think they put a little bit of his helmet possibly in that card for Miles Sanders' rookie card. Or you got this personal card I love. You got the booklet card. There's so much going on in these booklet cards. It's like essentially a double card. Uh, this is Jalen Rager, a rookie wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. This is his college. When it comes to rookie patch autos, the reason why I do want to take apart some of these things is because I've actually purchased quite a few for my own personal collection. Um, this is a Donovan Mitchell flawless card. It's number nine out of 10. It is graded at PSA 10s. This is part of his game worn jersey and they put it inside of a card. I love that. Which card do you want to, cut, to take well, apart? Well, I think the one that might be most interesting to see what's inside, the one I'm most excited to see what's inside is probably this booklet card, just because it's got so much going yeah. on. I love these booklet cards. They've got the big patch of the player's jersey, and then they got an additional patch of the player's jersey with kind of the lettering cut out over there. And then he's signed it, but he signed it on kind of a shadow box type thing. Okay. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to take this one apart, even though it's yes. a good card, even though he's a good first round draft pick, I still think we gotta cut into this one, take it apart and see what's inside. There we go. We have a razor blade. It's been a while since we've cut something open on here and we have some scissors. And the good news is, here's the card right here. A National Treasures, two patches in here. So two jersey patches and an autograph inside. This is gonna be an interesting one. I'm sorry, Jalen Rager. Sorry we're destroying your card. Hey, you have all, to that, be the all that means is that all the other people who own Jalen Rager cards, they're now more rare. <laughs> That's true. there's one less in existence. What is the number? So there's 99 of these. You'll know for sure that one of them is destroyed. I've seen these cases with the metal. Do you know how to open these cases with the yeah, metal? Yeah, so this is just Magnet. simply magnetic. So you just kind of put your fingers on the edge there and that's the first part of opening it right there. Look at that. Perfect, okay. Whoa. Usually we're so careful. Now these are, this isn't just like your regular card. This is a booklet. Right, that's a booklet. So that's kind of a, a real sought after type of card. They're cool. Really? So they'll come in the pack. They'll come like that. But then when you pull one out, you're always excited. Cause you're like, oh my gosh, this is, this card's gonna have a little more to it. And you open it up and you're like, oh man, look at that. Auto, patches, you know, it's like, <laughs> that's a pretty slick card. You know, that's kind of cool. Corn frogs. For all those times, one time, the longest game of my life I ever went to was BYU versus TCU, it was at BYU. I think it went into like triple overtime and everybody stood up the entire game and it was like seven hours long and we lost like 50 to 51, something oh. like that. All right, Jeff. Are Ready, you Dan? okay that we're doing this? I'm like, okay we're doing this. <laughs> okay. There might be some hardcore card collectors out there who uh, 
aren't, aren't liking what they're about to see. But look, I'm excited to know what's inside these cards. I collect these cards. I love these RPA rookie patch auto cards. Mm -hmm. I want to see what's inside. I mean, obviously there's going to be a patch of a jersey inside, but here's some of the questions. Is it put in there with tape? Do they have like some duct tape on the side? Did they use some glue, some adhesive around the entire bottom of it? Because I would think if you did glue on the whole section down here, then there's a chance it would like bubble up or look yeah, weird. So we have to know this and the only way we can know is to destroy it. So. And what is the, and how much jersey is actually in there? And what do the yeah. edges look like? Is it frayed? I'm very curious to see what we're about to see. Science, that's what we're doing here, science. All right, I'm going in. This is now a PSA six. Oh yeah, that's that definitely went Five. down on the grade scale. <laughs> Don't grade it now. It's oh we, we're gosh. past the point of no return. Oh baby. Oh wow, that's in there tight. Okay, I'm trying to be a little careful with it, which sounds weird. Whew. The first incision has been made. I'm gonna use my fingers now for this part. Oh yeah, we're pulling it back. Oh, that is definitely a zero on the uh, scale yeah, there. We've, TCU. We've, we've lost the grade. <laughs> they will Look, no longer authenticate it. Interesting, I, I find this interesting. The first part right here, you can feel, it's just like a, a cover. Like this whole section right here is just uh -huh. like taped on there, glued on there. So, so you you're saying, so this is on. actually like a separate printed layer. So it's mm -hmm. almost like they printed that as a separate card and then like glued it down. Yeah, so the booklet comes the way it comes. Okay, yeah, so that's. And there's the top of it. So that's the, the top of it. So that actually, that's interesting because this is actually kind of like the thickness of a standard cardboard card. Mm -hmm. So they probably use the same printing process here as they would have used for a lot of their different cards. And it's just kind of a standard, you know, thickness cardboard card that just got pasted yeah. on. There we go. Okay, and then same and then thing the on back the back. is the same deal. Interesting. There we go. So that's same deal. So that's the same type of thickness of a cardboard card as you would expect a normal card to be. And yet that's just the back of the booklet pasted on whatever this middle piece is. Yep. How many of these do you have? <laughs> no, that's the only one. But we can work about it. That's the only it's one. I won't cut your table. I can see it in there. I just want to see. It doesn't go any further. It doesn't go any further. So there. that patch, yeah, that's the edge of the patch. It's. It really the is patch, pretty the square. The patch was the exact size of the window around the patch. There's really no more patch hidden under there. That surprised me a little bit. I thought maybe yeah. it'd be like bigger and they would tape it. I'm gonna grab from here. Okay. I'm gonna pull All this All right, off. let's see what we got. I think it's just some adhesive. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. So they use some It's like type the double-sided adhesive tape. Oh, and, and in a matter of oh. fact, it's actually got the player's name and like, a, and like some type of number corresponding to the patch on the back of it. Think about the employees that work at these companies. They're not gonna know exactly like this jersey goes mm -hmm. with this player. There's gonna be thousands of jerseys that are game worn from different players. There's gotta be a way to itemize it. There it is on the back. You put yeah. the adhesive with the identifier of whose jersey that is and what card pet it's supposed to go into. Well, now you know it's legitimately his jersey. So <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I mean, if you're watching Panini and you wanna open the curtain for us and have us come check it out, we're happy to do it. Okay, this one has the autograph on it and it also has the jersey I wanna see again if it has. Now, is, you think this is probably one continuous piece of jersey there, right? We would assume. It would be yeah. hard to have lots of little segments of it. It looks like it. And then if it's anything like the other one, we should just have a top layer that we can just pull off right here. Oh, I didn't go deep enough on it. Oh well. I'm curious, that signature, what's that sitting on top of? It's kind of a clear. Oh, yeah, it's a shiny signature. Oh, so there you go. So yeah, it was cut another piece of jersey, cut exactly to the width necessary to appear below this. Oh, can we get it so we can see the name on it again? There it is. Oh, I kind of lost some of it, but you can see inside of there, there's the name. You want me to try see to get See if you can get this. the signature out. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, what's that signature on? It is on a piece of clear Whoa. plastic, like clear acetate plastic. And oh. Yeah, so there you go. Interesting. So he signed, so what they must have done is they must have sent him uh, a whole bunch of these to sign. And they just said sign these clear plastic pieces and it's not sticky or anything, it's just a piece of clear plastic. If you're somebody that's looking to collect certain types of cards, I definitely recommend the Rookie Patch autos or even just the patch autographs as part of the jersey. It also has an autograph. So hopefully they'll hold value for a long time. And then a lot of these are numbered to low numbers. This one was 99. Hopefully this guy has a massive year. So what's his name again? Jalen. Jalen Rager. Rager. Jalen, so I hope you kill it with the Philadelphia Eagles. If he is in the Hall of Fame someday, 
we are gonna look back and watch this video many years from now and, <laughs> and <cringe>. discuss <laughs> yes. and cringe and cringe. What did we do to his rookie patch card? This is a unique piece of memorabilia torn apart by Dan from What's Inside and Jeff. Jeff, sorry, you had to be part of this sad thing, but hey, we figured something out. <laughs> hey, it was fun to do. Now we know what's inside a rookie card. Very cool. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video already where we went through Jeff's amazing collection, multi-million dollars worth of cards, it is worth a watch. If you watched it once, feel free to go watch it again. Make sure you check out Sports Card Investor channel. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Lots of really good resources for those of you that want to invest in sports cards or beef up your own personal collection. There's a few different tools that can help you do it in a good way so that you hopefully don't lose any money and you actually make some money off of making cards. So Jeff, thanks for letting me come out. This is fun. Appreciate it, Dan. Thank yeah. you. Check out his channel, it's pretty cool. All right, see you guys, bye.